Alright guys, so this is it. Finally, on 3.55, we could get PlayStation Network access. This is full and everything. Account management, friends, messaging, uh, playing games, um, as long as those games don't require you with 411, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we could play games online now with 3.55. Oh yeah. Okay, so um, to get down to the basic, you have to have uh, Rebug firmware installed. I will show you how to install that in this video. Um, as you can see, I have it installed, and I'm on PSN. Pretty cool, huh? So you're gonna need that installed. Um, uh, if I were you, I would. Go to 3.55, get rid of the CFW you have right now, so you can follow this tutorial a lot more easily. Because um, this is a full tutorial from installing Rebug, to installing the update package, to installing and telling you how to use it. Um, so, yeah, laugh my... I can't talk here, my dad's downstairs, but anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, just stay tuned, make sure to uh, watch carefully, and uh, you should have it online soon up and soon all right guys thanks for watching all right guys so the first step of this tutorial i'm going to bring you is that you need to get these files on a flash drive so just go ahead and stick your favorite flash drive in your computer not the one in your pants but the one that you know goes in usb but I, anyway all right um so you just go to your computer over here um and I here's my flash drive and I'm just going to drag this file in here and then for the second file you go go inside of it and this is actually the rebook CFW so go ahead and drag and drop that um, while this uh, copies over to my flash drive um, I want to tell you guys that if you downgraded with an E3 flasher to 3.55 it's on Rajuro. So if you try to install a different CFW or go to OFW on 355 and then go to another CFW, it'll break your PS3. So what you'll have to do is from Rajuro, downgrade with the E3 card reader to 3.41. There's tutorial, there is a tutorial on E3-tech.net. Uh, um, I might do my own tutorial later on to downgrade. But after you downgrade, I want you guys to know you can upgrade to the OFW 3.55 and then follow this tutorial to get rebug on your console. So um, now that we've got the files on our flash drive, we could go ahead and eject them. Eject the flash drive. And uh, now it's safe, so let me eject it with physically. All right. There it is. Alright, so now we're going to head over to our PlayStation 3 and go ahead and stick it in your PS3. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to update our PS3 to um, Rebug firmware. But first, I want to show you guys uh, for all those people who think I'm fake that I'm on 3.55, which you just saw. Uh. Okay. So, this is not photoshopped or After Effects or anything, this is real stuff. Alright, um, so, uh, make sure your flash drive's in the PS3. Go to System Update, then Update via Storage Media. As long as you have those files I told you from before to put in there, you'll be able to do this completely fine. So, I'm just going to go skip through that. Um, basically, it's asking if you want to accept the terms. Go ahead and accept it, and, uh, you've read them and all that stuff. It doesn't really matter if you did or didn't. Because it doesn't mean anything, really, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so once it's installing the software, it's going to restart and actually install the software into the actual PS3. I don't know how to say that more basic. Like, um, So while it's installing, it might skip from 19 or 18. Or no, it actually skips from mine from 36 to 100 right there. Um, so once it skips or uh, once it installs fully, um, you should have your PS3 rebooted and it should say rebug. And uh, after it says rebug, you can um, go ahead and check out the debug menu if you want. Uh, you can see the PSN logo is red. So this is all these are all indicators that you are on uh, rebug officially. 
Um, I just want to say what a great job Rebug's done, and um, they've really helped the PS3 scene a lot lately, so um, deuces to them, or heads up, whatever. Alright, so um, on your XMB uh, with Rebug installed, go to uh, Game, and under Game you want to go to Package Manager, then Install Package Files and Standard Package Location, and then um, if you were like me, you might have taken out your flash drive after it installed, but just plug it back in if you did that, um, or you just leave it installed in your PS3. So when your USB is in there, you should have these files or at least a rebug update package. Make sure you install that, and uh, when you do install that, you should get that red circle that looks like a spiral kind of thing. And uh, when you enter that, you're supposed to enter it. Go ahead and click yes on the option it asked for, um, like you see I did. And it looks like your PS3 froze, but really it's just installing because it has to do something with the VSHs. I'm not sure really, um, because I'm not elite as them. Oh, wow. Anyway, um, so it should say it would reboot now. So upon exit, so go ahead and press circle and it should reboot. So once it reboots, we're going to have to make it on rebug mode so that the spoofer will work. So go to package manager, install package files, and then go to PS3 hard disk. This is built in with the OS. Now install the rebug selector 1.6 and it should be really fast. And it's called sex dex. And go ahead and press X on that. And whenever you open it, press L1 and, oh, wait a second. I'm trying to read that on here. L1 and circle. So go ahead and press L1 and circle to go in rebug mode. And then um, once you do that, yeah, L1 and circle rebug mode. Once you do that, press the home button and quit. Um, I wasn't sure if that was it here, so I was looking online just making sure. But yeah, all you gotta do is press L1 circle, then go ahead and quit the game, and your PS3 should reboot automatically. Now after it reboots, if you don't already have your network settings set up, then uh, go do it now. Because whenever you do, it won't ask you to update now. Because guess what? You are spoofed on 411, and now you can sign in to PSN, as you can see. It says the latest version of 4.11 blah 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 is installed. So look at this. Sign up for PlayStation Network. Here we go. Signing in. Okay, I gotta blend this out. But my crap in. Alright, so that's it. You don't have to watch the rest. That's it. This is just me fooling around. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, if you guys like the video, please leave a like. Drop the like, drop the favorite, and don't forget to drop the subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, okay? I want subscribers, I want to make this channel bigger, I'm going to make this a big old community on here, alright? So, yeah, I'm logging in, and uh, it will take you a little bit if you are like me and you've gotten like 800 downloads on the PS3 store or whatever. Actually, I think I just hit 700, I'm not sure. So I'm going to sign in now, just to prove it, just to prove it, everybody, I don't care what y'all say, but look at this, signing in on the custom firmware 3.55, Rebug Team did it, and here it is, look at that, okay, so you'll see, if, you know, like I said, it might take a little bit to load, maybe it's the friends, I think I have a full friends list, I'm not sure, um, well, yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, subscribe, man. It's all I have to man. Um, if you don't have 3.5 PS3, go out and buy one. Go on PayPal. eBay. I mean, yeah, just get it. eBay account. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, also, see you again, account management. Um, that's about it. Yeah, you do everything you could with normal 411 PS3. Um, but I don't know if you could play 411 games, so I'm not going to promise that. Um, 
but uh, yeah, check out that. Love Freebug. Yeah, Freebug, they should make their own YouTube channel. Alright, so that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Like I said, don't forget to leave a subscription and a favorite. Alright, guys.